Welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Roger Lorignard and in today's video I'll be demonstrating how to host a web server from a home PC using Apache. For my tutorial I'll be using Microsoft Windows 10, the 64-bit version. To begin, we can go to our browser. We're going to type Apache Launch or you can go directly to the Apache Launch.com. We're going to look for the download section. And we're going to look for the version of our operating system which is the 64 bit and you download the file as you can see my file is already here zip folder here and then we are required to have the microsoft visual c plus plus installed so you're going to go to support.microsoft.com and you're going to scroll down and once again you're going to download the version that's compatible with your operating system we're going to download the x64 and as you can see it's already downloaded and installed while we're here we want to go back to our browser again and we are required to have a domain name all right so for my domain name i'll use noip.com which offers free domain names so I'm going to domain name first you're going to go to this website you're going to sign up for an account um, while the account is activated you're going to log into the account i'm already logged into the account so i can go directly to my account as you can see i have one active host name as you can see the host name is here and it's mapped back to my public ip address which is provided by my isp which is flow all right if you need to create a host name after you logged into the site you go to create create host name you choose a name a desired name of your type of your choice um, you leave the record type as a and then you choose a domain extension of your choice and then you click create host name it is very easy as that um, if you wish while you're here you can download the dynamic update client and install it and basically what this client does it keeps your host name updated or mapped to a current your IP target which is your public IP address because from time to time what happens is that your ISP can change this IP address can change and if this changes then your, your host name when you type in your host name into your browser it's not going to work so what this tool does, it keeps the, it always checks to, to see if the, in fact, if this um, public address has changed on your ISP size and it, it refreshes it and keeps it up to date. All right, so that's a nice tool if you wish you can download. So we can minimize this and we go to installing the Apache server. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna extract my files here. Right, I'm going to go into the folder and I'm going to look for the Apache 24 folder. I'm going to take this whole folder and I'm going to go to my local drive, which is my local disk C. I'm going to place my folder in this drive. I'm going to go into the Apache folder and I'm going to go into my configuration file, which is the conf or conf folder. And you're going to go into the HTTP PD file you're going to right click and you're going to open it with notepad and you're going to just double check to make sure everything is straight inside this in the, inside the configuration you're going to make sure that your defined silver root is in fact the same part that the folder is installed and you can see our own is c colon forward slash apache 24 that's correct and then we're going to watch to see what port it is listening on it's at the 80 port if you wish you can modify the port number for this tutorial we will leave it as is so that's basically all you need to change inside this folder so we can close this off you can go to the bin folder and i'm going to run the apache monitor i'm going to right click I'm going to open the monitor and I'm going to make sure I start the services 
of the server. I'm going to minimize this for now. I'm going to come out. I'm going to show you one more thing. You go to the HD docs and this index.html. I'm going to right click and open with Notepad. As you can see, this is basically the web page we're going to be testing. It just said it works. Very simple script. One line of code. Come out. And I think I am done with this file. Great. Next, you want to go back to your browser. You want to log into your router. Um, for this tutorial, I am into my flow router. I'm connected to my flow. I'm going to go to my advanced settings. The settings should be similar for any router. You're going to go into security and you're going to go into port forwarding. You're going to need the local IP address. You're going to need the local IP address of the machine, which is this machine that the server is on. So I'm going to check that now. I'm going to go with the IP4 address, which is 0 0.27. And I'm going to create a new rule to forward the port of the server to my local address. The port we check before was 80 both local start and end and external and internal I'm going to choose the both protocols I'm going to choose on and rule and as you can see my port 80 is forwarded to my local IP address of this machine and it's enabled for now, we're going to minimize the server. I'm going to log in to a computer which is outside of my network. I'm going to go to our browser. I'm going to type. What's my IP? This IP address is totally different to the one I have, so you can verify that I am in fact out of my network. I'm going to type my domain name on my website. Vernon Web Server. Dot Net. And as you can see, it works. I'm going to go back to my Apache folder, my C drive, HC docs, I'm right click on my file, I'm going to modify my file, my website, save, I'm going to refresh, as you can see it's updated, so in fact this has proved that the server is working outside of my network but for those if if you are still getting any problems in terms of um pages not working there, there are two things you can do you can go to your dmz in your router mine is disabled and you can enable it if you wish and add the local ip address of the machine, the machine that the, the Apache server is installed on. Another thing you can do is go to the control panel, the type firewall, and you're gonna add it all on up through the firewall. is already added the Apache server is already enabled to go through the firewall but if you have to add yours you can go to change allow one other app you browse same file and your C drive local drive you go to Apache 24 you go to the bin folder and you're gonna click on this file here which is the exe to the Apache server and you're gonna click open and then you click add. Right, mine is already there. 
those are the two things that can either um, block the server from running and there's one more thing if if your router supports it this router does not there's a dns setting in your router you'd probably go to it and tell your your dns account it, well in this case you would enter your no ip username password you'd enter your host name and it links back to the account that's one way of making sure that the server to make sure that the router in fact is connected to your to, to your dns account so we have come to the end of my tutorial i would like to say thanks for watching this was my tutorial on how to host a web server from a home pc using apache